Oh my heart, it's UK, RAF Binbrook. Mine was going around with the report, and now we're going to have a look at some different places. We've got people here already, as you can see. It's going to be a good night. Yeah, take the scaredness out of you. Because spirits be full on scared people and you'll be targeted straight away from the lights going out. So you need to take that away from completely, okay? Right, so welcome to RF Bimbro. As you can see, we've got quite a gathering tonight. We've got Ultimate Hornady that are doing filming through that one night. Now, it's not for TV. It's, well, it is for TV, but it's for YouTube. They have a YouTube channel. We've got one, so they're helping us to assist by making for us to on our on our as well, so that's what they're here for tonight. So Michael is going to be in faces quite a bit tonight, in all different directions, from the two teams to one, as you can see now. <laughs> so he's going to be in everybody's faces as well. Okay, now I just want to reiterate something that happened last week. Um, la oh, did anyone come? No one coming last week, did they? Did anybody hear about what happened last week? Yeah, brilliant. We had to take a girl out of the theatre last week because whatever was in that theatre was keeping her in there. It wouldn't let her out, she was, she was strong. We did a, what's called a seance group, seance with people holding hands. Her hands were raised up, raised up to the limit. There was a guy who's actually just joined, who's, uh, who's joining us today. He was pulled down to the floor and his arm was hurting him. Now the reason for that is we believe the spirit that's in this building is a big guy and he, he wants to prove to the people that he's the toughest one. So he tried to prove the point, which he did more or less get the point. So he went down, at the same time, arms were being raised up. What we did was, we asked the spirit to drop the hands down. He did on so many, but one girl individual, he wouldn't. I had put my hands on her arm to push them down. The hands were that hard, that strong, I couldn't push them down. But as I was doing it, her elbows were then going up at the same time. So we broke the complete circle, expecting the, the energy to drop which usually it does because it, all the energy breaks away. It still continued, our rounds were still going up. We asked the spirit to back off from her and we told him, you know, we basically can't, we didn't ask you to do it, she had no business to do this. And it still continued. We had to get her out, we had, well, we had to pull her arm, another guy had to push her back, and as we were pushing her, she was, whatever was there was strong, it was not letting her out of that room. It just would not let her go. We found that we did get her out of the room, as soon as she came out the door, she was clear. So hopefully we may get something like that tonight. Is anybody scared? <laughs> They've fucking gone out at me now, aren't they? <laughs> Is anybody scared of doing anything like this? Please, if, if you're scared of doing anything like this, we don't expect you to do it. This is your night as much as not ours, right? All the team that we've got here do not get involved in glasswork and stuff like that. Teach what you do. You do that yourself. We look over you to make sure that it's, it's okay. Um, we had a lot of action in there with the glasswork last week as well, it was getting thrown around the table. So it's, you know, it's, this is your night, it's how you want to do it. We split into two teams. The first part of the team will be in this part, the main part of the building, which is down here, the theatre, the corridors, and then upstairs. The other part will go to the west wing, which is all upstairs. Of the room, um, 
obviously it's very dark, it's a lot darker than it normally is, it's a bit lighter than this, um, which is pretty good. Okay, so on the table we've got a REM pod that's flashing the red light. The right on there, micro pattern, so the red light on there is actually it's active. So if the spirit comes towards it, it'll trip it off. We sometimes get one light that comes up on it, or we can get all four lights that come up on it. It depends how the spirit wants to play with us. Okay? So um, we've got a trainee maybe with us tonight as well called what's the lead, is it? Nick. Nick. Now Nick's quite open to things as well. Um, so he he'll maybe see things but or pick up something as well around people and if he does or you feel cold or you feel something near you please let us know so we can we can look and see is that okay right brilliant okay i'm calling any spirits to come forward come forward to us come and join collect the energy that's around us use the energy that's in this room all these lovely people have come to see you we mean no harm we ask that you respect our wishes and just come forward and show us who you are and come to us You can affect anybody in this room by touching them, making them go cold, make the room go cold, or affect the light that's on the table that's flashing red and make it go a different colour. You walk across the floor if you're here. Door settling. Yeah. So you guys want to try talking as well. So it might be good to get guests to talk as well. Sometimes it likes a female voice to talk. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Say your name, introduce yourself to the spirit, you might come forward and spot us up and come forward and do something. Um, I'm Charlie. Um, 21. Come please, hello. <laughs> Don't know what to say. So what's the name as well? Nick. You walk across the floor, you copy me. So it could be, it could be any. Can you move the glass back to the middle of the table? Yeah, it could be. 
putting your name out. Can you tell us, is it mum or dad? No for mum, yes for dad. Dad. No for mum. No for mum. Oh, mum. Yeah. Back to the middle, please. Hey, mum. Do you want to say mum's name? Mum's name's Anne. Anne, Anne Gladwell. Gladwell. Spelt out G-L-A. Um, is your name Anne? Okay, somebody new, come to the table. If you're new to the table, please answer yes or say hello. Use the energy in the room. Say hello if you're new to the table. Come forward. Okay, use the energy in the room. Come forward to the table for me. What is your message? Next letter. Yeah. So this is the the resident medium farmers. You were saying you was picking up on an engine next to you, weren't you? Could you explain what it was like? Or it was a. Uh, I was feeling a gentleman stood next to me, uh, about six foot one, RAF uniform, World War Two, uh, smoking a cigarette. I got the okay, you want feeling quiet? he was a uh, cockney, something a bit of a bit of a geezer sort of thing. <coughs> he was quite fascinated with what was going on at the table. 
It's like I was saying, I was when you said you was picking up on that, the energy, I got a light anomaly, which appeared from nowhere, and then it, it went up to about the height you said, but then just totally disappeared. It didn't follow its path like it was flowing off on the wind, so I may have picked something up there. So you're female. 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 Thank you. Is that the place? Yeah. Look, it's not my camera. What does that mean? It means we're picking up an energy stood right, right next to you yeah, where you just display. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still study here, it's just watching. So for the people, the REM pod is there, 0.1 milligrams. Uh, the medium explained they could feel the energy next to him. Okay. Are you not happy? Thank you. Thank you. Come closer. Thank you. Yes, Okay, we've got another story here. We was we was conducting a Ouija board Zenacard session and this lady started to pick up. So I'm gonna go around the camera here and let her tell you what she was picking up. We picked up um, a lady called Mavis, who was married to John, and I understand John's been several times before, and I understand that um, John drowned Mavis, we don't know how, it's, she just said water. Um, her body hasn't been found, yes. so I'm going to look into this. Um, you did ask if it was on site as well, didn't you? I did, yeah. Did yeah. it say it was on site? I can't remember. I, I think you said, is the body on site? And yeah. it went, to, I, I'm sure it went to no. Right. But I do remember you saying that, and we yeah. did get this on camera, so yeah. it's nice for you to, to mention these names again. Yeah. And So, yeah. Mavis, uh, John. John's the energy that's coming around quite yeah. a lot, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, I felt it's quite his energy. It's, it's... When we finished the, the glass work, um, I felt angry, I felt, and we went into the, into the seance, and I felt I needed to break into the seance and say, Okay. We need to help Mavis stop this, but... That, I didn't. And that's why, that's how you're feeling now that you have to try and tell the story, try yeah. and help in some way, shape, yeah. or form. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, one of the things she said was was seeker. Seeker. And on my arm, I have a tattoo. I'm a family historian. Oh. Okay. It's family forever seeking. Seeking. So, well, there you go then. Yeah. So I will look into it. I'll when I get back home in the morning. Um, I'll look on the 1939 register, see if I can pick up a Mavis and a John. In Binbrook. If you she can. was under 30 as well. She, ah, right. To get yeah. these names, get the ages and all, yeah. it's, it's fantastic information. Yeah. If you do find something out, yeah. could you let us know? Just give I us a message, do, you'll yeah. find us, either me or yeah. Paul, Ultima Haunted, or yeah. through Paul. Let us know what you find and hopefully we'll it'll all collaborate. Okay. Thank we'll you, my love. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Bill. So we've come through into the theatre. Uh, there should be reports that lady's been pushed, so I've come in to try and catch yes. on camera. Yeah. Can we do one at a time, please? Can one of you just step back? One, just step back and wait a moment. Don't worry, you'll get your turn. You'll get your turn. Again, I'd like to say thank you for your sacrifice. There was a tremendous amount of emotion with this guy. <coughs> Ask if it's the guy from last week. Are you the gentleman that came forward last week with the other group? I'm sorry. Say yes. Is that left out? Or not? Yeah. Thank you. I get the sense that at the time of your passing, you were very afraid and felt very alone. Would I be right in saying that? Thank you. Again, thank you for your sacrifice. Just stop behind your mind, don't really panic. <laughs> Will you... After you perished, did you visit your wife? Thank you. I get the feeling that you would keep a close eye on her. Thank you. And would she be aware of your presence in the house? Because I get the feeling that she didn't marry again, did she? Thank you. Because you were there to look after her. And would frighten away anybody else that came near. Because she was your lady and you'd swore to look after her. 
you're a man of your word. You weren't always popular at school, were you? Thank you. Is it because you were small and boisterous and <coughs> feisty that... Thank you. People just didn't understand you, did they? No, thank you. So they're asking for a response through the lady. Every time the lady goes forward, talk about what's in each yes or no. Tell me some more about yourself, sir, please. Unfortunately, you had no time to school, did you? Thank you. You couldn't wait to leave. Would that be correct? Thank you. It is, yeah. Yeah, he's getting excited because he's enjoying communicating. He's like a little Jack Russell bouncy. You know, he's ooh, tremendous amount of energy. Seems, he just seems really powerful. Like yeah, he is. He's, well, he's getting excited because he's enjoying communicating. So, it seems we're being affected. Uh, hopefully the lady will explain what she's been experiencing. <laughs> Can you tell us how you're feeling, please, my love? Hot. Really hot. And you've just come from in the theatre, haven't you, where it is virtually, well, it's ice cold, isn't it? No, not to me. Not to you. You're feeling very hot, but everybody else, including myself, it's, it's really cold in there. It's just so hot. Any other feelings or...? Well, when that lady came through, I knew that she loved that guy. Okay. I knew straight away. Are you sensitive? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, did you pick up on her names while you was in there? No. no. I just knew that lady came through and she's had a sad life because she loved that guy. Ah, okay, okay. It was his wife, wasn't it, that no. was coming through? No. Mm. Just a bit on it the side. It was a lady from here ah. who loved him, but he was married to another lady. So who's him? The guy, the little guy. The little guy. The little stocky guy who used to be a jockey. Right, okay. The okay. lady that came through second was in love with him. Right, okay. But he was married and loved his wife. And you, did you feel emotional with it as well? Yeah, because she had a sad life. Yeah. Okay, right. Thank you. Jess? Okay, so what's up is we're actually in the, in the, in the cellar of uh, RF Binbrook. Now, the cellar used to be where all the, as you can see with the doors, the doors look like a bit like um, safe doors. Because okay. this was where all the weapons were kept, all the ammunition was kept. So obviously all the ammunition was kept there. The tunnel, which was looking for earlier, really, was trying to find out where the route was, how that tunnel got, it was actually filled in. So there's a tunnel straight down which would go out that way. And that's how they would, that's how they entered to make access would be only way through that way with all the weapons that they took through. Okay, should we have a walk down there and see if we can pick some up? Yeah, we've got gates, we have a walk down there, yeah, we'll, we'll turn the lights out, we'll have a walk down there. It's, it's quite an old down the back. We have had footsteps before down there as well. Yeah. Okay. Leave the way, mate, watch for the Yeah, just watch, watch the steps. steps. So it's a bloody good place, isn't it? It's long to do, yeah. So we're going down the tunnel now, near with Paul, and see what we can do. Uh, as you can see, this is what goes on about. Yeah, it's not like this. Yeah, so you can see the tunnel there. Yeah. Then you can see this bit here. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's no access now because the access is blocked off. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. So the stairs are there, they obviously must have climbed up the stairs to gain access yeah. out. You said you've heard footsteps in this tunnel. Yeah, we've heard, heard footsteps from this tunnel as well, yeah. Right, let's turn around. Watch his wife with him, mate. Yeah, he's dead. So, give us a call out so you can get. Okay. 
there's any spirits here with us now, can you come forward and show yourself to us? We mean you no harm, and we just want to communicate with you. Let's walk with you again. Can you walk across this floor? So they've got some energy down there though. Mm. You can feel it. Yeah, it's very, it's very straight, very weird in here. Yeah. Can you make a noise at the back? Make a noise anywhere. Let us know you're here. Just on the way anomaly, fly straight past your left shoulder. Can you touch me? Before you copy me, it's cold. I think it's a cellar anyway, so it's going to be cold. Any friends present, can you step forward please, use our energies, you lower the temperature a bit more, can you bang on the wall, can you do something for us to make it more, let us know that you're here with us. So we'll do about the munition to th down through the tunnel, sorry through the entrance at the front there. Yeah. And, yeah. All the ammunition was stored in here, that's why the big steel doors are there. Yeah. So we not feeling there that we're not long. Mm. Oh no, definitely. Mm -hmm. Everyone says it all the time, they feel exactly the same. It's, yeah. it's an eerie place. It's not so much it, it's just that we're not alone, you know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Binbrook's community centre. Um, there's two ladies here in front of me and a gentleman who've had a great experience upstairs, was it? So we'll just have a bit of an interview with them. Okay, these guys here. So I'm going to go to this lady here first. Could you explain what just happened? Well, I went into the men's toilets. I was stone cold and I tapped on the window. And I said, can you do that? And they said, they tap back. And I said, oh, I like playing this game. Can you do it again? When you and say that they tap again. back, was it one tap, two it taps, was, or? Yeah, one tap. Wait a minute. It was like this, one tap. Oh, so it was a definite loud tap then? Definitely it? loud tap, yeah. So it weren't like a, a bit of water dripping from somewhere? No, uh, definitely, definitely no a tap. water, no. It was definitely, no one was near any size. It was definitely a spirit. And these two guys here was and with you as well? They was, these two, this lady and gentleman was with me when it happened. And you can you can collaborate the story, can't you? Would you, would you oh, like yeah, to just yeah, explain yeah. what happened? Yeah, it's the same as them kids said. They exactly the same. Exactly the same. Two taps and they get a tap back. Two taps again, a little tap back. And all of a sudden we just went cold. So there's no doubt in your mind that you were, that you wasn't having a spiritual encounter at the time. It was definitely spirit that was, was communicating yeah. Oh, yeah. with you. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. Are you quite happy to say that as well? I am, yes, definitely. Okay. And also the man came in with his machine and Kez was reading a seven, I 
I think it was seven. Yes. Oh, talking about temperatures seven. now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was I was only this far away from her, and I was twelve point five. Oh, okay. I was on the other side. It went down six point two. Right. So we have got a lot of uh, fluctuation in temperatures. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Around yourself, who Myself, was having yeah. the activity at the time, your the temperature was different yeah. than yeah, yourself. Yeah, because and you, you even try, um, Shaleen even tried to communicate but they wouldn't have it it just seems to be when i do it when mm. he was talking when i was time. talking all the time yeah that is absolutely fantastic okay. mike here from art uk keeping it real and telling you the stories right so gentleman next to me here luke really nice guy um he just had an experience i'm just going to go over to the other side of the cam and ask him the question again but just listen to this so luke yes would you like to tell me what what you just experienced mate yeah, I was in the library um, across the near the building, and um, basically was in, was all all in a circle, or well, basically the perimeter of the room. And uh, first of all, I was calling out, asking the spirit to you know fetch them in the room, um, see if they can move any objects in there. And um, some of the books actually flew up off the shelf in there. When you um, say some of them, how many? The, One. I think we went and picked them up. We counted about nine, I think. Well, that's hardly one or two then. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so it was quite surreal. We thought someone actually lent on the bookcase itself, but we was all around the front of the room, like we said. And this was you had witnesses when this happened as well, didn't you? Yeah, just yourself. Room, everyone in the room saw it. So absolutely amazing, yeah. amazing. So it was all, it's all quite shots, but yeah, it's quite exciting. So in your own, on your own words, in your mind. Definitely paranormal activity. Definitely, yeah. There's some people in there as well that uh, claim to be pushed as well. So. Cool, thank you. Very good. All right. <laughs> Did you say was you know it's something as well? Yeah, and was it the bottom the girl it's a disabled toilet in the upstairs? It's upstairs, a different, yeah. different room, not library. And then yeah, we stood there and could hear rattling. We turned the torch on, looked to the right and the door was just tapping, so I asked you to open it, didn't I? It was, yeah. We opened no the door and no one was there just in case anyone was walking past. Was this around about the time of the book incident as well or? Uh, no, that was across there. Ah, okay, two separate different locations, yeah, yeah. but yet yeah, somebody else who has witnessed in your own mind, would you say that was definitely paranormal activity? Yeah, I would, yeah. Would you, well, if you could debunk it, how would you say that that had happened? Well, you was close <laughs> to the door, well, weren't well, you? Yeah. So it was even, he was either knocking the door or... I was, was, I was, was yeah, yeah, well. So it was the door, cold. You said it was cold as well, yeah. yeah. Now, as we yeah. say, this guy here, he's staff, he's got no Sorry. reason to lie, so collaborations there. Excellent, guys. Thank you. No problem. I don't think there's anything coming this way. Yeah, I can't Walk through this way, you wait, wait, and see if you can feel anything in the library, will you? I'm sure you can pick up stuff like traffic car. Go on, you go first. Oh, just went in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> you touched where you said you. Yeah, this is the energy. Yeah, you said, didn't you? Oh, it always does, not it? I felt like I just walked through something. <laughs> okay, use the energy in this room. Show us that you're here. Move a book. Okay, try and move one of the books for us. Use your energy to move one of the books. There's a draft coming through here. Can you feel that? It's not coming, it won't be the window, will it? No, it's coming through this way, through the door. Mm. Yeah. yeah, if you come and stand here, it's actually quite warm. No, it's it's not. Just close that door in case of draft. That's really yeah, important. just close that door. Just, is, there, is, is anyone in there? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. What's just happened there? Someone just <laughs> fell off her <around> me. <laughs> What's happened? Someone just fell off her right. 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 oh, She's right. fell behind me, yeah. Oh my god! She was not there. Honestly, no. There's a load of books on the floor. Okay, so we've. Right, hang on, where were they? I'll never look. I know, I know there was some books kicking around. Books, yeah. Sorry, can I just get here with the camera? Yeah. Where were they? They, would, they should have been on. There should have been a stack of books on a chair. Have they just fell off? Someone just fell over them. No, they, they fell. fell. They just fell. Yeah, they definitely just fell. Yeah. So again, you made me jump. <laughs> you made me jump. Made me jump. Did they shoot me? Throw my knees off. Do that again, please. You do that again. Someone's just just hit me on the head. Oh, they? The whole shelf. Yeah, the whole shelf. So not the ones on the chair. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for that.
Now, can you do anything else just to prove that was you? Yeah, we'll leave the big fellow out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make him swear again. Yeah. <laughs> if you're angry at him swearing, throw a book at him. <laughs> oh, please do. <laughs> So just for the camera, I interviewed uh, three people before who reported exactly the same thing as what's just happened. Go on, do one for the camera. Show, show us that you did it. Are we making too much noise in your library? You don't like it. What, was what that? is that what popping was that? noise? It's been doing it since we've come in. What was that? It's in this corner here. It's over here, something popped like a popping noise. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was someone doing it. I thought it was a channel. I thought it was that couple of noise. Yeah, it's been doing it all the time. Just got that on camera. What's that? That popping noise. You got it? Yeah. Sorry guys, I thought it was you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why we, that's, why noise, right? <laughs> that's why we ignored it, wasn't it? You were doing it, I went off there, wasn't it? Okay, so that's make, you making that noise. Could you do it again for us? A little bit louder. Okay, can you do anything else just to show us you're here? Yeah. Move another book, make a noise. Um, all the way down, hence why the, the small rooms, as you probably tell, they were little bedrooms, because they're all numbered as well. Um, it hasn't been used in a long time, it's derelict. Um, obviously, the hen's father has no, no power, that's why it's a cold as well. Okay. We have had occasional bits happen in here, I wouldn't say a great deal of stuff's happened in here. Um, we've had occasional footsteps of the REM pods going off. Um, but it's not, it's not a place that's full on active like the main building is itself. Um, but we do try, every now and again, you never know, you never know any luck, something could. Good afternoon, Matt. The, 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 the red pot's going blue now. That's a spirit. Can he come forward? Can you affect the light? Make the light stay on. Walk towards it, and the light will go on. Can you keep it? Stay, keep it on. Thank you. Can you make any other light go on? Use the other lights that's on there as well. If you're a male spirit, can you make the light flash? If you are male, make it flash for me. Behave yourself. If you're female, can you move away from the light and make it flash? Did that just flash out? Yes. Yeah. 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 So you're female, is that correct? Make the light flash if you're female. Any chance you can make those noises for us again? I'm really cold behind me. There's some fabulous orbs. Down what it was. Hey. I'm down on what it was down the side of you. Can you scratch on the wall again? Okay, can you copy Nick? Just do it again. Please. I don't think they tap. Yeah, please. Okay. Okay, can you do that back? It was one tap. Has anyone else heard it? Yeah. Every time you said it was like, I just heard one tap. 
and it's not like it was coming from down there somewhere, but I don't know where. But it's, it's very dark at the bottom. If that was you, can you tap again? Get everybody down this end, so they're all down this right, end. So okay, we can we'll come forward this way as much as you can, please. Down there, so I've come to the front. Mm. Not daft, are they? Not at all. Why do you attach over it now they've got it and move? Yeah, and you go, we'll go back over there. Let's go back over there yeah. and see if he does it again. Can you copy me? Yes, no. So we use a human person in the middle and we ask the spirit a question. And the idea is if it's yes, if they go backwards, if it's no, if they go forwards. You might have seen it in when we did the site when the science was done earlier, if anyone was with us in the theatre. So it's similar to that, but we just use one person. It worked pretty well last time we did it. Um, and, we, and people like yourself asked several questions as well. Um, and we got, we got a good response from it. This lovely lady, what's your name? Erin. Erin yeah. is going to be the victim and she's going to offer, offer to be the, the uh, human pendulum for us. Right, so if you come and stand into the middle, um, if one of you go to the back, you want to yeah. go to the back of us? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We need a talk to something, I think we've got one. Okay, was you the actor? No. Oh. Yeah, he was. No. No. Check that Patrick. Was you the, uh, what was he say? Comedian. Was you the comedian? Mm. Was you the one that left his medals to his wife? Mm. Are you the jockey? Yeah. Yeah. I've got a question to ask you. Yeah. I've got a question to ask him because he's come out early tonight. Yeah. I think someone knows about this question. Yeah. Did you have somebody, was there somebody that you knew that liked you? Yeah. Mm. She, she, she lived, she worked here, didn't she? Yeah, she wasn't, she wanted, uh, she wanted to be with you, but she knew you were married, didn't she? Did you like her? Did you want to be with her and not your wife? Mm, that's interesting. Mm. But you said you were loyal downstairs to your wife, didn't you? Yes, she did. Yeah. Mm. She was all there. Trying to trick us, aren't you? Hey, trying to trick us, aren't you? Trying to trick us. Yeah. Did you have an did you have an affair with that lady? Mm. 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 Was she the lady you was giving cigarettes to all the time? Did okay. you want an affair with that lady? Yeah. 
If you want to sit in the fa- Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> you alright, lads? You alright? Yeah. Right. yeah. Just... Right. What's the matter? What are you laughing at? Mm. Energy, mm. Talk to us. Yeah. Talk to us. Right behind, mm. right between. Can you talk there. to me? <sighs> talk to me. Are you happy we're here? Come on, you can take over, you can answer us. <laughs> right. Why are you laughing? Is that would you? Yeah. Electricity. Sorry, feels like it's not a bad sensation. Oh.